been to Monktoberfest. This is my first one. I would say that definitely most conferences do not start with a boat ride and a beer. I come to Monktoberfest because there's just so many interesting, great people to talk with and lots of great talks and just lots to learn. It's great people, uh, good beer, and great talks. Just always on the meta level, and I love meta. Most tech conferences are associated with uh, the bits and the bytes and the languages and the latest technology. Monktoberfest focuses, I think, more on how that changes people, how it changes organizations, and how it changes society. I come because in two days I get enough to think about for the rest of the year. It kind of speaks to probably the quality of the people here, that they're able to, to keep up with the beer and the conversation at the same time. The conference strikes a good balance between meta topics and actual tech topics. Uh, so, where's the industry going? What, what are the challenges people are facing? How are they dealing with them? And I find the, the diversity of topics and speakers to be pretty refreshing for a conference. This is, as far as I know, the only conference in existence that actually started as a joke. So a lot has changed in the past 10 years, certainly, but even the past five years in terms of how people react to this, like having this kind of data collected and reported. If you think about the type of harassment that, that some women deal with, it's humiliating. It's, you know, a lot of times you're afraid to report it because, you know, the retaliation that you face. And, you know, and retaliation can take the form. It doesn't have to come from one person. It can come from an entire team. Whenever we evaluate whether we're doing something right or we're doing something wrong, we try to think, you know, five years down the road, when we look back and reevaluate this, would this be something that people would be more trustworthy, uh, or would make us more trustworthy or less trustworthy? There's some things where it's like, this is great for me personally, some things like this can be great for the team, the organization, so that's my homework when I get back. <laughs> as soon as I had kids, I immediately thought, like, how can I share my passion for technology with my kids because I want them to love technology the way I love technology. Everyone just got together through Twitter. We all met up and like went out and had beers together. It was, it was cool to have access to all these people that are high up in their companies and technical leaders as well as VCs and just amazing amount of people and who you meet, it's incredible. With the internet, we, you know, everybody can share everything. Uh, and there are new ways that both technology, but the new ways humans can do things now that we can do that. It's good to have a theme. And I like having themes that are kind of off the main center topic. Uh, they're great, they're great icebreakers. I always have someone to talk about. I always have to talk about the beer and then we can kind of get into the other conversations. So I can make a crab that could walk. I can make a crab that could dance. Um, but that was about the limit of what I could do with the sensors and other stuff on it. But once these kinds of technologies suddenly know about the internet, know about data, know about sensor networks that already exist, they can do a whole lot more. They can interact with each other easily without having to worry about like Bluetooth transports and that kind of stuff. To get to the big idea, the thing you produce doesn't have to be daunting. It's only daunting because you chose to make it daunting. We just thought this was a great opportunity that our um, professor provide us so we can like, bounce off some great ideas with the developers in the real world industry. There's so many cool people here I've met. I mean, so many cool, awesome connections you'll never make at these bigger conferences or even some of the smaller ones. It's just an eclectic group of people here. 